Well, now, new this morning, parents in Bridgeport are putting up a fight over the state's takeover of their, of their school district. Yeah, we are just learning this morning about their request in court to stop this process. News 8's Ken Pierce live in Bridgeport with new details. Good morning, Kent. Good morning, Chris and Kristen. Up until now, it had been moving very quickly because the mayor, the superintendent, the Board of Education here in Bridgeport all were in favor of this state takeover of Bridgeport schools. And the CAP test scores that came out yesterday show Bridgeport, well, it's doing the worst of any city in Connecticut. But now parents of students in Bridgeport schools are saying not so fast with the state takeover. And they're going to say that to the state board, uh, the state education commissioner at a meeting at this church later on today. Last week, the Bridgeport school board basically voted to put itself out of business. Under a new state law, the state can come in and appoint a new board to run things. And that's fine with elected officials here in Bridgeport. But now a parents group has filed for an injunction with the court to halt the process. The complaint is mainly that parents have not had any voice in the discussions about a state takeover. The need for something to change is obvious in the Connecticut Academic Performance Test Scores, or CAP test scores, released yesterday. Only roughly 10% of Bridgeport High School sophomores met goals in math, reading, and science. For comparison to that 10%, sophomores in New Haven, 17% met the math goal, 16% met reading goals, 18% met science goals. Now, this year's sophomores in Bridgeport, they did slightly better, about 1% percent better than last year's sophomores in Bridgeport there, but they are still far short of the goals set for them. The State Education Commissioner is going to have that meeting with the public to explain his plans for a turnaround from 7 to 8.30 here at the Mount Avery Baptist Church. Again, a parents group has now filed for a court injunction to stop this state takeover. Live in Bridgeport, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.